Today we're going to be making a really delicious sea bass ceviche recipe using fresh limes and salt. This is the backbone of making ceviche, citrus and salt. Basically the citrus is used to cook the fish and the salt is used to give it seasoning and flavour. So instead of eating raw fish as you would with sushi, it's kind of a new, interesting, unusual way of eating and serving it. You have it cold and with lots of delicious garnishes. So I'm going to show you how to make that today. So, to begin, citrus and salt. So I've got the juice of a lime going in. We're going to be using three limes. So the lime juice is what cooks the sea bass. So I've got about half a teaspoon of salt as well going in. I just want to give that a little gentle mix. Be very delicate because the fish is very delicate. You don't want to break it up too much. You want to try and keep quite nice big pieces. So I'm just popping in a bit of chilli in with the fish, the salt and the lime while it marinates. I definitely recommend you try a bit of the chilli before you pop it in so you know what heat scale you're dealing with. So the fish is nicely cooked now. First of all, I'm just going to drain out a little bit of the juice. I'm just going to really nicely arrange my cooked sea bass on a plate here. I'm just doing one portion for me. You want to do this quite gently because the fish is now cooked and it's very delicate, it's very easily broken apart. And I've got a chopped up half avocado here and I'm just going to use these little chunks of beautiful avocado. Just sprinkle them over. Beautiful I've also got some pomegranate as well. I've got beautiful colour and contrast. The pop of the fresh pomegranate works so nicely with the creamy avocado. Finally, we've got a few chopped spring onions as well, which will add freshness. And also some coriander. I'm just going to pull off some of the leaves, some of the prettier leaves, and just scatter them over the top. And finally, we've still got a bit of this marinating juice left over. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more to the plate, just to keep it nice and dressed and give it a little bit of, a bit of liquid. And there you have it, my beautiful plate of sea bass ceviche with avocado and fresh pomegranate. It's absolutely delicious, it's really lovely for summer and a really nice thing to share. I really hope you like this recipe and if you try it, please do leave me a comment, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in.